Hello, my name's Jeremy. I'm the CEO of Magscapes. Uh, we're here today at uh, Stanton Williams. The building is beneath us and uh, they're facing onto the canal. They've been buying the material Magline a year on year now, so we're curious to go inside and see exactly how they're using that. Uh, let's go inside and have a look. My first year at Stanton Williams, we were doing a big overhaul of the practice and the space and redesigning new rooms and additional a meeting room, effectively. So the idea of the actual magnetic walls wasn't sort of an on-the-spot idea. It was more about the fact that we like creative, modifiable spaces and the way that the architects work is in like a very visual. So we either have models or we have drawings up on the wall. So it just made sense to be able to change those drawings around really quickly and magnets kind of seemed the most logical. The idea of sort of getting magnetic walls wasn't sort of a, an on-the-spot idea really. It's all about the creative process and the need to be able to modify that space very quickly. It just sort of made sense to have magnetic walls rather than obviously blue tack where you're kind of having to decorate and all the rest of it. So that's where it all began. I mean, interestingly enough, we, we only got it in a couple of rooms to start with. So I think it was this room and meeting room two, and, and quite quickly we realised actually it was people were actively going and using those spaces because of the magnetic walls. So we then started spreading all over the office. I mean, we have it on the lift shaft, we have it in the design area. I mean, any blank wall that we have now has magnetic wallpaper on it. And any blank wall is effectively a creative design space that we can use. So instead of just having the meeting rooms, we've got lots of different sort of design areas. So that, it's actually helped create a more inspirational office because of it, I would say.